Hey, Sleeping Beauty family. It is Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. The weekend is upon us with some new Pokemon adventures as well. So Sunday, I think, is Pokemon Go Community Day. And it is going to feature my favorite shiny, Galarian Zigzagoon. Galarian Zigzagoon is my favorite shiny that Pokemon, I think, has ever made. It's just a beautiful, a beautiful red color. Red is my favorite color, and I love red shinies. And just the Zigzagoon just looks amazing for some reason out of all red shinies. I just really, really like this one. So I'm really excited for it. <laughs> and of course, we have all kinds of Pokemon things going on. We have a world championship. I think that's coming up as well. And a bunch of conventions that are happening. So I've seen a lot of cool Pokemon things as of late. And I've been playing some Pokemon Unite too. But today, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we have some cards to open. So I got some Pokemon Go. I got some Evolving Skies, like I told you guys I would find. And I got some Astral Radiance. So we're gonna see what we can pull out of here. And I might go back and forth between the Evolving Skies and Astral Radiance just to mix it up. But I had also put out a short. We are gonna give this really cool Charmeleon slab away once we reach 500 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, you want to subscribe, help us get to 500 so we can give away this slab. Whew. And I think it would be really cool if we can get to 600 quickly. I could add another slab in, but we haven't quite reached 500 yet, so haven't made that decision quite yet. So these tins uh, came out pretty recently. I was actually able to get them early, I think about a week ago, so I've held on to these for a week. And these mini tins, cute little Eevee on there, and a really cool Pikachu coin. Have two packs in there. Really cool coin, and then you can pick the images on each of these and make a complete image on the back. So if you look at the back, at the very top, you can see which pieces are missing. Focus, there we go. And then there should be five tins total, I believe. I have two of them, but my GameStop had actually put them out a couple days early, which is unusual for GameStop. Usually they're pretty good about keeping things under wraps, but I think this employee just didn't care, so. <laughs> but let's open some packs. That Pikachu coin is really cool. I've not seen it before. And I'm really excited to add it to my coin collection. Hopefully I don't have any problems with focusing. But yeah, I haven't seen that Pikachu coin before. All right, let's do it. Go into War Turtle. Charmander, Eevee, and I have a bunch of packages for Monday, so I'm really excited. Gyarados into a Snorlax. I've been getting quite a few, and I won't open them just yet. Of course, we're saving them all for Monday. I'll have today and then tomorrow to receive more, but I have a ton to open. So I don't even think I'm gonna do an opening of any cards and then just packages for Monday. Cause I have a lot to look at <laughs> and a lot of cards to put into binders, personal collection sets and all that. I just have a lot cause I did actually get quite a bit these past few weeks, a couple weeks. So let's see, we got Meltian, Squirtle, Tranquil, Blanche, and a slacking V. Sometimes these little mini tins are either hit or miss. I either do a really good job of pulling stuff from them or not so much. Uh, I always had trouble in Shining Fates, another Pikachu coin, pulling something okay out of these, but I had a very good time pulling some hits from Celebrations. So, Definitely cool. I usually try to push more, try to get these mini pins. Mostly because they're, I think, 
which is a bit cheaper than some of the other products that they release. But we'll see how we do with these. The Celebrations ones I definitely liked because you seem to get more because you got two Celebration packs and then you got like a Darkness Ablaze one. But again, many tins are a hit and miss. Oh, there's a Ditto right there and a Professor's Research full art. So we got two there. All right, so this mini tin was a lot better. And actually, you know what? We're gonna do something I have not done since I got my first ditto. We're actually gonna peel this one. I already have a spinner rack ditto extra. So we're actually gonna peel this one. I haven't peeled one in a while. That is very satisfying. <laughs> so I have now two unpeeled dittos. So that's really cool. We are gonna still sleep ditto. But that's awesome. I haven't peeled a ditto since I think, goodness, since I first pulled one, I don't know, my first or second Pokemon Go opening, so. <laughs> it's awesome to pull a ditto, because I know people like to collect the unpeeled dittos. But I have a Spinarak one and a Numel one off to the side that I'm willing to trade or if anybody needs it. Let me know. <laughs> but I hadn't peeled the ditto in quite a bit. Uh, but like I said, many tins can be hit or miss. <laughs> Just give them a shot. Some people have better luck than I do out of these. You never know. Slowpoke EV into a Conkledor V. I think I traded for this one because I couldn't pull it, but that's okay. Always cool to have extras because sometimes people cannot pull even the regular Vs, like myself. So that's awesome. We actually got a pretty good amount of hits out of there. We got hits out of both of those packs in the second tin and one out of the first one. So that's awesome. And I'm actually going to move this slab. All right. So we're going to go into one of two or one of the four of all these guys packs I have. That's so cool. Got, got a few hits out here. I don't know why this thing's having trouble focusing. Hmm. All right, so let's see. It's been a little while, even if it's just a little short since I opened up some Evolving Skies. Always a fun set. I know Kyle really likes this set and I hope to pull something good out of here. Oops, sorry about that. Trying to get this to focus. It's wanting to focus on the cards in the back, <laughs> which is not what I'm wanting it to focus on. Yeah, we're gonna flip flop back and forth between all these guys naturally. Is. Two really good sets that are out. Uh, did not see any brilliant stars singles, but hey, still, we got some good sets. I think Astrains is a pretty good set to have out, and the Bombing Skies is another good one as well. I've seen Vivid Voltage out in stores too, which is not, which is also a good set. You can get stuff in it. You can get Amazing Rares out of that Reverse Hollow slot, but I think I want to go for more of Evolving Skies. Try to see if I can, if I can pull some of those alternate art evolutions. Evil into a origin form Dialga V. I think I may have traded for this one too. So <laughs> I've made a lot of trades lately. <laughs> but again, that is okay. All right, next Evolving Skies pack. Yes, I went with all Sylveon. Sometimes Sylveon brings me more luck. Maybe Sylveon will bring me the luck of one of the alternate art evolutions I'm missing. I need several V Maxes. I think the only uh, alternate art evolution V Max I do have is just Glaceon. But the only Vs I need are Glaceon V Ultimate Art and the Umbreon. 
10 years so chin chow into a size me too. Yeah, I do have the glacial. That is definitely, I think, one of the more desirable alternate arts v -maxes. That leafy on one is definitely another desirable one. It is pretty. Of course, with the Moonbrion. But I have to say, I think the V alternate art of Umbreon is my favorite. Just Umbreon lording over all the other Pokemon. I like that card a lot. <laughs> Scyther, Radiant Heat Ran. I think we pulled this Radiant card last time we opened up Smash Radiance into a Lucario V. Now, don't forget about our Radiant cards out of there. I think they're pretty easy to pull, but we can't forget about those. Because they are shiny cards. Okay. Back to Evolving Skies. So we've gotten hits out of our Pokemon Go. We've gotten hits out of our Asherinians. Now we just need a hit out of Evolving Skies. That'd be really cool if we got a nice big hit out of either set towards the end. Maybe a rainbow, maybe an alternate art. I have three left in Astro Radiance to pull. <laughs> so hoping to get those. Interesting that Braviary is also in Evolving Skies. They might have heard. Ooh, Garboder V. So we did get a hit. We did get a hit out of Evolving Skies. Yes, it's a Garboder, Garbador, however you would like to pronounce it. But it is a hit. <laughs> I think Newt came to check on me. <laughs> it's a little late. And he is sleepy boy. Alright. And I'm definitely hyped for Lost Origin. It's, I think, less than a month away now, which time flies really fast. So, <laughs> how much have you guys pre-ordered? I pre-ordered, I haven't pre-ordered my booster box yet. I'm probably gonna pre-order from the same place I pre-ordered the last two that I've done. But I have not pre-ordered booster box yet, but I pre-ordered stuff from Pokemon Center and GameStop. So how much are you guys pre-ordering? And we got Braviary again. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are gonna open. I tend to like to open those triple packs. Those are my favorite. And I definitely pre-ordered two, maybe three. I think I would definitely pre-ordered two I'm gonna try to find them on release day. I'm trying to see if, what I can find on release day. I'm a bit curious about that. So we'll see what we can find at Walmart, Target, GameStop. Usually I won't have as much luck at Target until the week after, but we'll see what I can find. I got an Eevee Reverse Hollow into a Slacking Hollow. So out of those packs, we just got one uh, Ultra Rare hit the Garbodor V. We also got Hollow Slacking. Not too shabby. We'll still be on the hunt for more Evolving Skies to open in the future. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic here. Oops. Also want to pull some more of those V cards out of that trainer gallery set. There's Dartrix. And still need some more Decidui cards as well. Chatot, Psyduck, Hippopowdon, into a Feeble, not hollow, stealing our ultra rare. That is okay. So we got hits out of every set that we opened. Most of them were from Pokemon Go, but we did get some really cool cards out of Asteradiance as well. Try to move those up. We got that Dialga V that I know is probably a desirable card. 
the car UV rate heat ram which is always cool and then of course full art professor's research trainer as well as a couple of these from Pokemon Gun as well so if you guys enjoyed today's video leave a like and again if you're not subscribed consider subscribing because like I said we are giving away this slab this Charmeleon PSA slab. Once we hit 500 subscribers, I run that giveaway. But we have to hit that first, so make sure you are subscribed. <laughs> we are slowly making our way there. I think we're almost at uh, 460. I think we're almost there, so. But again, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic Friday as we get closer and closer to, to the release of Lost Origin. But until Monday's video, which will have a ton of packages, I promise, take care, sleep well, and good night.